People talk all day long, but what happens when the last thing they ever said becomes the most important thing they've ever said? Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. Hey, it's Kyla Denanyo and welcome to Kyla's Reading Day. Today we're talking about the book, The Last Thing He Told Me. This book was written by Laura Dave. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is suspense thriller. So the book follows a young couple, Michael and Hannah, and Michael has a daughter named Bailey. And so you're reading the book, you're following along with their lives, and you're like, okay, 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 I get it. And then you find out that Hannah is not too much older than Bailey, her stepdaughter. And I'm like, okay, is there any connection there? There turns out there isn't, <laughs> but that parents and stepchildren, they usually have a contentious relationship, or at least there's some time for them to work out the relationship, right? But then Austin, Texas. So the reason why Austin is so important is because you get little hints, little trickles here and there, a business card, a, you know what I mean? A little something. And then Austin, Texas ends up unraveling so much stuff for the family. So that was the major plot twist when we found out about Austin, Texas. And you're like, okay, capital of Texas, what's the big deal? But then slowly the book starts to unravel all these different clues, which turns out that Hannah is a badass. <laughs> Seriously, she should have been working with the police department. She should be an official investigator. And Hannah will take the most minute detail. Take this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this, put it all together and boom, I got a story, okay? So part of Hannah being so incredible as a stepmom is how she defends Bailey. We get a couple glimpses of Hannah's relationship with her grandfather and I think that's why Hannah is able to stand up for Bailey in such a big way because of everything she learned from her grandfather. But like, Hannah was a supporting character but ends up being the primary character in the entire book. So that was something I was not expecting but it was really good in the book, okay? And I maintain the fact that I think most suspense books are written chronologically and then the editor is like, can you take this chapter and just move it to a whole nother section of the book and then people will be left wanting. Because I'm just like, the book is good. I'm missing something. This character's a little shallow. Boom. And it's like, y'all removed an entire chapter that we could have had. Like, I don't think the book would have been any less good. I don't think the book would have been any worse if it was in order, but it's just like, anywho, Austin, Texas ends up being a really important part of the book and Hannah ends up really showing herself. So that was, that's why Austin, Texas is such a big deal and why it was really relevant to the book the last thing he told me so so the last thing here number seven I always tell you whether or not I would reread the book I would not reread this book great book very entertaining to read I wouldn't reread it I don't want to know what Bailey's doing later on I don't want to know what happens to Hannah I don't want to know what happens to Michael so no this wouldn't be a book that I would reread because I'm not going to spend a lot of time thinking about the characters and what they're doing once I finish the book so if you're still here, thank you for watching. <laughs> there are so many books and so little time, but I am getting through as many of them as I can. And today we talked about the book, The Last Thing He Told Me. So yeah, leave a comment. Let me know if you've read anything by the author. Let me know if you've read this book and how you felt about it, okay? So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. That really does help YouTube share the video with other people who enjoy books, other people who enjoy book reviews. And I will see you next time on Kyla's Reading Day. Bye.